hey, guess what? EcoFlow just sent me another Delta Pro. Let's check to see if they, how they fix the polarity issue on that plug. All right, if you don't know what I'm talking about, their pre-production units of the Delta Pros had an issue where this plug here was wired backwards, right? The polarity was flipped. And so uh, the viewers on my channel caught it. And then uh, they said that this just was a problem that was on the pre-production version of this unit, that the production versions, they, it would be fixed, right? And so here we are about a month later and now the production units are rolling out and they're ending up a customer's hands. And so now they sent me a production unit. How can I tell the difference? Well, first of all, this one's all dirty because I put my hands all over there. This one's still kind of, and it still has the uh, the sticker here. So this is the production unit. This is the pre-production unit. So this one, I fixed it and I showed you. So let's do that test that I suggested people do. This test is pretty simple, right? The neutral and the hot were backwards on this. So this is the hot and this should be the hot. So the way you check it is using a multimeter set on ohm setting. And then, you know, preferably put it on the beeping thing so you don't have to look at it. So the way you test it, you put one probe here on the on the small uh, and the, the pin that is closest to, to the other connector, right? So you put one probe there, one here. And if it beeps, that means those two are connected. So that means this one is the line. Originally, this was, uh, came wired as a neutral, which is backwards, right? So this now is the production unit and it should do the same thing now. I fixed this one myself, but now, you know. Oh, here we go. There we go, so they fixed it. So this is the hot uh, leg. Yeah, and this is the neutral. Okay, now let's let's take it apart to see how they fix that. If they just just, just change the, the wires or if they change anything, because remember, this is pre-production. This is now production unit, right? And so maybe we'll see some changes inside. Let's take it apart. All right, so here are some changes. Now they put that uh, they put that glue in here, right? It's like silicon, uh, so that these connectors don't work themselves out when uh, by vibrations and stuff, right? Uh, I see some new gaskets in here that were not on the original unit, right? And so that's also maybe to eliminate vibration. Uh, maybe so they could fit better, the top could fit better and it won't rattle. There's a few changes in here. Uh, this cable looks different. I don't remember what, how the other one looked. I think it was all, it was, uh, it had shrink like this, right? So now let's look underneath. Oh, I see. Look at that. Yeah. So they just, they just rewired it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, this is where I am right now. So instead, EcoFlow, what appears that they did is instead of flipping these two, what they did is they flipped this ones. So either now both of these, now both of these match, but either both of these now are wrong, right? Backwards, or both of them are right. Uh, one way they could have fixed that is by switching the polarity of this, right? So then the only thing that would be wrong would be the colors, right? So the positive appears to be the line. The negative appears to be the neutral. So if this is backwards from the other unit the pre-production unit, then that's what they did. They flipped these, they changed this harness, right? 
and then they just so they wouldn't have to change the the length of all these right but here is the pre-production and it appears to be the same yeah the negative appears to be the neutral and the positive seems to be the uh line so these are the same so either this one i don't I don't know, I guess the only way now to check is to, to do the old test right here, right? So this is the pre-production, right? And according to this, one line, one orange line in the center means open ground. And of course, that's to be expected because this thing doesn't have the, the neutral bonded to the ground, right? So with this little thing that it's also, by the way, this came with the EcoFlow Delta Max, which is weird that they would include that in that, but they didn't include one in this one. But anyways, I have one. So then you put it in there and that, what it does, it bonds the neutral to the ground. And see, now we get the two amber ones, uh, which if you read here, correct wiring. Nothing on this side and then two ambers, right? So now let's try the production unit and see if it does the same thing. All right, so let's start up the production unit here. Boom, 30%, I've done nothing with it. I just took it apart. Okay. Uh, let's turn on the AC. Look at that. So, I'm gonna hook this up, but I'm gonna turn it off before I do that because reasons to believe that it is backwards. So if I ground the line, I don't know what it's gonna do. Is it gonna blow this up or short it out? I don't know, but I'd rather start it and stand back. Look at that, it works. So they fixed it. They fixed it somehow. I don't know how. All I'm thinking is that maybe what they did was they just switched this and they got the inverter, right? The board inside there to flip and to change the polarity inside of the board. This is pretty genius. Now, why is this genius? Right, because it is was the easiest way to fix this mistake. Sure, sure, the cables are, are wrong, maybe, right? The colors are wrong, but who cares about the colors? Nobody's gonna care, right? Because nobody's supposed to be in there anyways, right? Uh, and oh, it's hopefully it's only gonna be in this batch, on, on the second batch. Here's the thing, most likely by the time they cut this, this mistake, all of these harnesses were made, maybe thousands of those, right? So instead of having to remake that, which is gonna cost a bunch of money, like, you know, a lot of money, uh, then what they did is they did uh, a hack, right? A software update, I think, where they swap polarities on the inverter. And that way, the only change they had to do was to change this backwards just so that this would be matching. The end result is the same thing, is that you got correct polarity on both of these, on all of these connectors. And that's what you want, right? The end customer at the end, all we want is just to be able to use it and not have any problems with the polarity of this, right? And they have achieved that. And they have achieved that in a very clever way. And I like that. See, these guys are smart. These guys are pretty smart. And here we go, we get to see a bunch of lights blinking inside here. I've never powered this unit with this, uh, yeah, with this, this cover off, but here we go. So there you go. I can confirm that EcoFlow has fixed the polarity issue that they had on the pre-production unit, now on their production units, right? And they did it in a clever way. Uh, so these guys are smart. I like this company, I like these products. Sure, nothing is perfect, right? They got 
one thing that was wrong, but they fixed it. And so as a consumer, you should not have to worry about plugging this in here or worrying about the polarity. It's just, it's just gonna be right. It's gonna be done correctly. So there you go. EcoFlow Delta Pro for the win. And by the way, now that I have two units, I'll be able to test the, uh, hopefully the, you know, their full UPS unit thing with the 240 and thing. I'm hoping that they send me the right hardware now that I have the main two units to do that, right? And so I'm gonna do that in the future. I wanna do it. I wanna power this whole building. This whole building right here with those units right here, right? Of course, if you think those are too expensive, which I don't agree, they're, these are pretty advanced piece of equipment and stuff, but you're more like me and you're into the DIY, boom. I'm also gonna be finishing that power wall finally, uh, along with all these other projects that I'm doing, right? So whether you want backup, you know, and do it uh, as a DIY project or whatever, or you just wanna buy a store-bought unit like this, or some of the other ones that they're in there, uh, go for it. Enjoy. See you guys in the next video. Bye. This. What? What? No way. 400,000? Well, let's, let's go check. How did they? No.